It's time for Highlands basketball tonight from the Doc Stofco Gym in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. The Highlands Golden Rams face the Johnstown Trojans in the first round of the PIAA Class 4A state playoffs. Along with the Dean Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik, cameraman Dan alongside, and Dean, the long trip to Johnstown. Yeah, Michael, we've been off a while. The WPL tournament gives exclusive rights to Trib Live, so we couldn't do the games. Glad to be back with you in the WPL tournament. Uh, again, we had a nice run. We beat Elizabeth forward at home. Finally got revenge against Hampton on the road. Then we hit a hot Lincoln Park team, Mike. They made seven out of eight three-pointers in the first quarter, and they never looked back. And I want to make one point about that game. Uh, everybody watched them on tape. We packed a tight 2-3 zone. They were 0 for 12 in the previous game against South Allegheny. And with that kind of speed, you want them to try to hopefully shoot themselves out of it. Caught them on the wrong night. They were hot. Got us to the semifinals. And again, at least we qualify for the states. And we have done that. And the Rams are in the state tournament again this year. Um, this is their 10th time they played in the PIAA playoffs. How did we get to Johnstown? Well, Other than a bus. Yes, <laughs> that was interesting too. In the past, it was fall the leader system. This year, they had a playoff for the third and fourth place teams. We got to go to Laurel Highlands because they were the highest seeded team. I call it the public school championship since uh, North Catholic and Lincoln Park private schools played for the championship. Again, we hit a hot Laurel Highlands team that night. We ended up finishing third. I mean, they ended up finishing third. We ended up finishing fourth. Laurel Highlands, again, they took advantage of their home court. But they're going to Clearfield tonight, Mike. They're two and a half hours north and maybe hit the snow. We only had 90 minutes. Nice trip to Johnstown on our luxury liner. And because of that, we are the PIA tonight. And home court advantage is going to Johnstown. That's why we have these crazy travel trips. Wait to tell you about some of the distance, some of the teams that we had to travel here tonight. But great to be here. Yeah, it is. Um, well, this Johnstown team is the District Six Champions. They've won it for the fourth time in the last five years and their 30th District Six Championship in the school's history. Yeah, Mike, they're a good team. Remind me a lot of us. They're 22-3 and three overall, 11-1 at home. They average 74 points. They give up 46. And again, they hung 102 on Somerset. Somebody's allowed to score 100 points. How about that, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're athletic. They like to get out on you. They like transition. They shoot well from the corners. Lead score is uh, number five, Nair Collins. He averages 22 points a game. And Dante Tislinger averages 21 a game. We're going to have to get up those two guys here tonight. And these guys are tough. They only lost three games, as you said. They started out 11-0. But I have a number for you. The Rams haven't played since last Wednesday. Since 2018, when Highlands has had more than four days in between games, they are 28-2. and two. So let's try to make it 29-2, and two, and then maybe get that uh, Lincoln Park rematch on Tuesday. What do you say? Hey, South Allegheny can beat Lincoln Park. Don't give up yet. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Tip-off is coming up tonight at Johnstown, and we start the state playoffs. Highlands and the Johnstown Trojans, and it's right after this. Back at Doc Stofko, and we are set to go between the Highlands Golden Rams and the Johnstown Trojans. Champions of District 6. The Rams, of course, WPIL is District 7. We had a great Star Spangled Banner, the all time leading scorer and a principal. And the principal here. of the school, exactly, which, principal pretty. of the elementary, which is it's pretty impressive. Yep. All right, the Golden Rams return, like you said, Mike, after a long layoff and uh, have a pretty good record coming in after that long layoff. 22 and 5 this year. We'll start number zero, 6'4", senior, averaging four points a game, Chandler Timmons. A 6'3", senior. 6'3", senior, Jimmy Kuntz, wears number one, averages 15 po 17 points per game. Big guy in the middle, Braden Foster, 6'8", junior, wears number 15, averages 20 points per game. Number 23, 6'2", junior, Jordan Tavares. Average of seven points a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 25, Cam Regard, 6'1 junior, averages 15 per game. That was Kurt Hoffman that sang the anthem. Uh, the all-time leading scorer here at Johnstown, playing under, what, 2005 team that went all the way to the championship game. The Trojans coached by Ryan Durham. And they can score some points. <laughs> He'll start number five, Raheem Braswell, 5'9", freshman, Mike. A five foot 11 junior, wearing number 12, Jameer 
Number 12 is Jameer Collins, 5'11 junior. A six foot four junior, wearing number 23. Number 23, Dion Dixon, 6'4 junior. A six foot two sophomore. And 6'2 sophomore, 21, Dante Tislinger. Averaged 20 points a game. And he scored 20 in their District 6 championship win against Central. And their leading scorer, 22 points a game. Number four, Nair Collins, a 5'10 senior, the only senior on their starting five. Nair Collins scored 1,000 points. He had 38 points in a game this year already. He scored 1,000 points in two years. Officials for tonight, Doug Steve, Jim Rakini, and Chuck Glasser. We were talking about South Allegheny. Where, wasn't Glassport the Glassers? They were. Yeah. Exactly right, yep. And Fort City, too. Fort City. Ah, there you go. So we're set to go. Uh, Braden Foster will jump center, and he'll be in there against Deion Dixon. Deion six Dixon, 6'4". Six four. They got some length, and they like to run. So do the Rams. We'll see what happens. Again, the winner plays the Lincoln Park South Allegheny winner. That game will be on Tuesday night, and it'll be closer to us. Yes. Sight. And tap. If we win that, is a term. promise. Tap is won by the Trojans, and they move right to left, dressed in their home white uniforms. Their uniforms and color scheme very similar to Woodland Hills. And Bishop Cannon, Mike. Yeah, both. Here's Braswell up top. Now your calls, Mike, wearing a mask. You'll be able to see Yes, he, I noticed that. Uh, he doesn't get rid of that thing. I noticed a couple of interviews when he got his 1,000. He had it on. Might be a good luck charm. Here's Collins, put it up, missed it, rebound, regard. And that's what they like to do, Mike, penetrate, and here's what else they like to do, full court pressure. You'll see it coming here. Chandler Timmons is bringing the ball up, Mike. We don't see that that often. Foster went to pick and roll, but they covered Chandler on his way to the basket. Foster right side, drives all the way in, got shut off, going to put up a little shot off the glass and can it, and the Rams lead two to nothing. Braden kept control the whole time, Mike. They tried to knock him off the spot. Wouldn't have any of it. Wide open this three. Tissinger's long three, up around, up almost over, but Timmons able to pull the rebound down. Sometimes they call that out, sometimes they don't. Probably would have had to hit the wire. And once again, Chandler bringing the ball up the floor, Mike. We haven't seen this all year. Something and different, up, but it. it's stolen yeah. by Collins. Collins goes all the way in, got bumped by Timmons and fouled, and Collins will go to the line and shoot a pair. at 6.53, the Rams lead two to nothing. I don't mind Chandler bringing the ball up the floor, Mike, but he's got to get rid of it quicker for an attack that way. Now here Collins, we mentioned a thousand point scorer in a game earlier this season. He scored 38 at Richland. Richland of Johnstown, of course. They're also the Rams. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is Jameer Collins missed the first. He'll get another. And he and Nair are brothers, Mike. Okay. Second left hander is good. Full court pressure, Mike. We anticipate this time Jimmy's going to bring it up the floor. Guarded by Braswell. Right side to Tavares. Back out top to Timmons. Now Kunst off the move. Drives to the basket. Left-handed scores. There was no switch on that play, Mike. Jimmy saw, took advantage, knifed in for his first hoop. Rams lead 4-1. Dixon. Here's Nair Collins. Drives to the basket against the double team. Kicked it to the corner. Now they work it back out. Left to the Jameer Collins. They let it go. Left-handed shot was blocked. And a rebound to Foster and the Rams have it. They want to push it. Yep. Two minutes in. Foster dribbled into a minefield but got out of there. Back to Kunst. Gave up the shot. Now right side. Three ball down by Regard. Early three-point shooter, Cam Regard, knocks one down. Hines lead 7-1. to one. Quick start for the Rams. Again, always seem to come out fast after the long layoff. Whatever Corey does and stops before him in the time that they have off works. Back at the rim, Timmons controls. Foster, Foster fast blows break. up the baseline, put it up, missed the shot. Rebound cut, scores. Jimmy Cooks four early, and the Rams lead it nine to one. And Johnstown needs a timeout at the 5:26 mark, and the Rams come out flying. 
They weren't going to let this one get out of hand, Mike High. Like you said, out of the box quick, 9-1, to one, only a 30-second timeout. Dean, we mentioned this is the Rams' 10th trip to the PIAA playoffs. They are 9-9 nine to nine in that span. It's their sixth trip to the PIAA playoffs in the last eight years, which is pretty impressive, and they're 6-5 and five over that span. Do you remember the first ever win that Highlands had in a state playoff game? Did we do the game? We did. Okay. Did hmm. Do, 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 do. Bedford? It was at St. Francis is where the game oh, was. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that team right now. That's the team. Game Bones played. Come off Bones the bench. came off the bench because yeah. uh, uh, just, Justin Bouch was suspended that game. They beat Huntington, which yep. is, by the way, Huntington is one of our two losses in this stretch where we're 28-2 on long layoffs. Uh, that, but uh, that was later on, of course. But, yeah, they beat Huntington up at St. Francis. That was their first ever win. And then they went on to play Blackhawk at Midland, speaking of Lincoln Park. Yeah, they're there tonight, by the way. Uh-huh, and fell. But that was the first ever win. They had only played one other state playoff game before that, and that was the game after the 95 championship where they lost Hickory. the first game. Yeah. yeah, I was there for that one. I did that one on the radio for WTYM in the bird's nest of Butler. <laughs> Oh, you're in the bird's nest? Yep, yeah, I crawl all the way. For AK Valley teams, to die. Again. There's the three off the rim, no good by Tissiger. Rebound tipped out of bounds. It's Highlands basketball. Doug Steve with the call. And Mike, unlike Lincoln Park, they're missing that show. You remember there was a spell in the 90s and 2000s when AK Valley teams would play playoff games at Butler and invariably lose every time. Yeah, St. Joe's High put a doubleheader one time, lost them both. Lost them both. Well, we did get one back, beat uh, Newcastle up there. Uh, yes, that was a good win. Maybe 20, 20, uh, 2010. And to the back, one. Chandler yes. Timmons puts it in and draws the foul. Timmons strong to the hoop. Four or five starters in the book now. Tissinger picks up the foul. That's the first foul of the basketball game. Timmons at the line. Trying to finish off the three-point play. Too strong. Tip by Foster. No good. Foster got it again. Got wow. Foul. Got foul there. Jimmy fights for it. Jimmy has it. Throws Smart it off idea. a Trojan. Yep. And the Rams will get it. Yeah, I thought Foster got fouled there, Mike. Four of the five starters already on the score sheet for Highlands. Oh, wide open off the inbound, and Timmons lays it in. Chandler with four now. Hottens up 13-1. to one. Looks like the pit game, Mike. Don't remind me. <laughs> Hope we have the same result. Yeah, Dot, Dot likes it, yeah. Collins. Now Nair goes to the basket. Pull, nice move. Slick. Up around Foster and down. That's the first basket for the Trojans, and it's 13-3. And you see why average 22 a game, Mike. Nice move. Timmons. Now to Regard. Back to Foster. Thought about it, but they get on him quickly. Again, there are no more mulligans. There are no more losers brackets. Yep, you is. lose now, it's over. Timmons three off the iron. Rebound. Out ahead of Stixon. He puts it in. And it's 13 to 5. Four straight for the Trojans. And that's what they like to do, Mike. Get you out in transition. Damn it! Or no push. foul! No foul! Struggled. And it's going to be John. No, it's going to be Highlands ball. Yep. They're going to say it went off a foot. How was that not a foul, Mike? Well, Corey wanted one earlier. None to be called. Late arriving crowd here, Mike, and they filled the place up quickly. The student section filled up in the one end zone there. Terferrell Stallworth, number two, comes into the game. First substitution for Coach Durham. Foster underneath. Boy, they're playing it physical, aren't they? Yeah, they're letting them play it, unfortunately. That's not your Collins has it. Well, Johnstown putting a little push now. That's twice that Foster just got beat up in there, no call. Maybe they were a little nervous. You know, they didn't get a chance to play in the States last year. They were only 7-15. and 15. A very strange year for them. They're used to being better than that. Yeah, they won four of the last five district six. Three ball by Collins off the iron. Rebound Signorella. He's, He's in trouble. Out. Call timeout. And it's out of bounds, and it's Highlands ball. Ball was tipped out by Jameer Collins. They're coming after him, Mike. They are, and they have really turned it up after Coach Durham called that timeout. I think he brought him the riot act. And, Mike, what you want to do here is got to make him pay for that pressure. They're going to double team. Somebody's open, head to the basket. Right. Here's Kunst. 
all the way through. Spin move, 360, won't go for him. But Jimmy will get two foul shots at 252, and the Rams leading at 13 to five. That fouls our Raheem Braswell, his first. Jimmy Kuntz, the Rams' leading scorer in the postseason, averaging 15.5 a game in the four WPIL games. I still don't know what to do with that loser's bracket game. I guess you count it as a Whippeal game. Jimmy makes the first, he'll get another. He's got five early on. Jimmy went over the 1,500 point mark during the tournament, during our uh, WPIAL slash trib hiatus that we had. We're back now. Four games, yeah, we'll be back until the state finals, Mike. Prince made them both. You see what I did there, I'm optimistic. I'm with you, 15-5. I was optimistic before they tapped and said the game was gonna be closer to us. I, I, I was hopeful. Collins. A lot of shuffle cuts. Tissinger all the way home. He's fouled. Chandler Simmons is going to get his second quick here, Mike. And he just sat for a second, and he... They get uh, Jordan Tavares back at the table. We'll see who he replaces. I'm going to guess Chandler. So Tissinger at the line. He'll shoot a couple. Tissinger, second leading scorer. First no good. We chronicled all year the Rams problems with the foul line. You know, the game we beat Hampton out of North Allegheny, Hampton helped us out. They had a miserable night at the foul line that night. The second one is good. Of course, Hampton rebounded. They won both losers bracket game after that. Beat South Allegheny and then went to Uniontown and won. That couldn't have been easy. 15-6, Highlands by nine. Looping feed into Foster. Puts it up off the glass and That's scores. That's what you need, Mike. They created some space for him in the right block. And I don't know if there's anybody that can stop that. 17-6. They did not put it. There you go. They've been stopping it by hacking him, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Nair Collins. Tissinger. Watch a little tape on him right there. Like to run these shuffle cuts. Try to get the ball inside or to the corners. Dom Alberter, number 10. In the lineup. Three ball up around, no good. They're cold from out there. Rebound Kuntz. Only one three in this game. That by Regard. Tissinger's missed three of them, Mike. Nice move by Jimmy in the paint. You Quickly with eight. Score. You can often tell what seniors don't want their career to be over. Jimmy's got eight here in the first quarter. Collins going to let a long three go over Foster. It's no good, but the rebound pulled down by Stallworth. Tissinger out of the corner, and he steps go, on the sideline. Well guarded by Coach Dodge. Yeah, first turnover of the night for the Trojans. Raheem Braswell checks back in. Highlands lead is 13, 19 to six. It's their biggest lead of the game. 121 left first quarter. Tavares. Denying Jimmy the ball, Mike. They know he's the point guard make things happen. They're gonna, uh, they're gonna call there. a little handsy on Dom Alberter out top. He's 6'2 sophomore. He's the seventh player to get in for Johnstown here in the first quarter. 1.13 to go. Highlands leading 19 to 6. Third team foul against the Trojans. Tavares, right side Rigar, gonna let it fly. Down! Yeah. Nothing but nylon. Tried to buy one, but didn't get it, but the basket's good. He's two for two from downtown, and the Rams lead it 22 to 6. I noticed last trip down, Mike, they were face guarding Jimmy. He'll backdoor him, they want to do that. Alberta, outside to Collins. Crossover move, put it on the floor, goes in. Oh, had it blocked by Foster, and the Rams have it. Rams want to push yep, it. I would. Foster right side, puts it on the floor. Was going to go up. Tavares drives into pace. Nice, nice dumped out of six. Right 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 over him, and he's fouled. Now he stopped the Wait. basket. <laughs> he got Tisslinger off his feet, Mike. Tisslinger picks up his second. See if they sit him down, Mike. He's their second leading scorer. Yes, sir. Landon Signorella averaging 6.3 in the postseason. That's a point more than he gets during the entire year. You like to see picking up your game when it matters most. 
Orlando will get another. Amir Robinson. Hot is two for four. Amir Robinson has come in. Like it's a standing room only crowd now. I told you there were a ton of people in the hallway. And look at them still coming yeah, in. I'm saying. Well, there's not many roads in and out of here. Second by Landon is good. And the Rams stretch it to 23 to 6. Quite the first quarter. A typical Highlands first quarter, actually. Defensively not like the yeah, last two times we let 32 points up in the first quarter. So. Uh, ex well, we've given it. The last three games have been, two games have been brutal. a lot of points. Yeah, they've been brutal. Lost both by 23. That is un-Highlands like. I tell you what, tuning up the defense right there. Making them work for this last shot. They are. Here's Collins. Five seconds. Going to let it go. Three ball. Oh, wide right. Rebound loose. Signorella out to regard. Let's it go. Half court. It's oh. wide. And that's the end of the first quarter here at Doc's Golf Co. Gym. And the Rams liking their first trip to Johnstown. The score after one. Highlands 23. And the Trojans of Johnstown 6. And Mike, the cheerleaders are on the floor for Hines. We got to come up with them tonight. We all took the bus trip together on the uh, liner. And uh, again, they're seniors out there tonight. We've got... Uh, Ella Hilterman, and she's a German foreign exchange student. Brenna Elias, Noel Hurley, Emma Mann, Captain Brianna Mara, Emily Miller, Savannah Rogers, and the other captain is Jessica White, Mike the Seniors, a very smart and talented group. A lot of these girls multitask. They maintain high grades on the honor roll. They're in all kind of various sports, tennis, musicals, a choir serve in various leadership positions. And again, they're just great examples for the young girls in our school district. Very proud of their efforts, and we thank them for their support throughout the year. Absolutely. And their sponsors, Gretchen Mara and Jamie Bonnet. Yes. Thanks. We were the human buffer between the Thanks cheerleaders in the front that. and the boys, the team in the back. Along with the coaches. How'd they put us? Coaches and four Others. Hangers, <laughs> hangers, on. hangers on. Something like that. <laughs> Rams with the ball to start the second quarter. They lead it 23 to 6. Here's Kunstreit's side. Oh, it went right through the hands of Rigar, but here's when you know it's going your way. It comes right to Foster and he put it in. Yeah, Mike. That These are the breaks right. they weren't getting the last two games. Took advantage of that. And I think Johnson is stunned, Mike. 25 to 6. Quite the start. Now they're gonna look back to the bench. Jameer Collins gonna pound that out at the big Trojan center circle. And Mike, you can tell this team likes to get out in transition. Their half court game, it's just shuffle cuts up front. There's Nair for three. Boy, routed out, rebound. Signorella, they have not made a three. They've only made two field goals. I think they're about 0 for 8, Mike. We thought that would happen against Lincoln Park. It didn't. Jimmy is Jimmy on fire. Jimmy Gust is on fire. He's got 10. And the Rams lead it 27 to 6. This is the Golden Ram team we're used to seeing. Yeah. You know what it is, don't you? What's that? They missed us. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Robinson underneath. Kicked it back out to Collins. Thought about it, but quickly closing out was Tavares. Robinson for three. It's down. Amir Robinson off the bench. That's the first one. And you can see how loud it gets in here. Spin move, Kunst all the way down, he's fouled. And by Mr. Robinson, flat-footed shot that time, maybe that's the key to making the three. Maybe. Jimmy Kunst will shoot two at 6.33 first half. The Rams lead it 27 to nine. First three-pointer for Johnson now tonight. Braswell gets his second. Kunst drains the first. By the way, you're wondering why, YouTube viewers, um, that the game wasn't on until 7 o'clock. We're on 24-hour delay uh, via the PIAA. So that's why uh, it's going to take. So any game we do from here on out, whatever time the game started the night before, it'll be 24 hours later. So yeah. Breakfast Club, you just have to wait an extra day. Or an evening. Come on tonight. Saturday you can night. watch at nighttime. Yeah. Yep. Whichever. Have a cup of coffee at night. Why not? Tissinger. Decap. Robinson thinking about it. He's going to let it go. It's off the back rim. Rebound. Nair Collins. 
Rams 28 to 9. Tissinger in the paint. Goes all the way home left handedly. 28 to 9. And they do get loud in here, Mike. All the way in. Tavares up to and yes, sir. It goes and he draws the foul. Jordan Tavares with that European step. That foul's on Jameer Collins, his first. And by the way, Mike, tonight's game can be seen Monday, 8 p.m. on Comcast Channel 190 if you're in a local area. Your Euro step, more like the Natrona step. <laughs> it was effective all the same. Won't go. Rebound Trojans. 30 to 11. Here's Robinson, who's given him a bit of a spark off the bench. Right side to Collins. Shut off by Kunz. Out top to oh, he walked. Jameer Collins. He did. Not the first time. <laughs> Goes in with the left hand and scores. His first basket, third point, and it's 30 to 13. Oh, Foster with a stop and a start move, but Tavares comes back to get it. He lost it out of bounds. Johnstown ball. Only the second half of his turnover here, Mike. Raheem Braswell, the freshman, comes back into the lineup after some good minutes from Amir Robinson. 5 and a half left till halftime. Highlands by 17. Led by as many as 21. Inside to Dixon. Now Nair Collins. Jameer. Tissinger now. Flashes out. Nair left side. They like that shot from the corner, Mike. And they got the leading scorer down there waiting for it. Tissinger whooped it to the corner, and Braswell lets it go. In and out, no good. Rebound, course, man. Over the top, no call. Whapped across the side of the face, too. Here's Foster. Foster. Work. Oh, long one for Regard. It's good. Cam is on fire. Three for three. He's got nine. And a 33-13. Boy, like Regard, Shugalet, Regard got going, second half against Hampton, and he's been there ever since. Big crowd got quiet, Mike. That's how you take the crowd out of it, make shots like that. Tissinger. Boy, you, you see how tough uh, Foster was on that defensive stand there. You know, if they're going to let you be physical, you know, we can be physical too. And that's one thing Braden did there, and he stopped the ball. Tavares goes into the crowd there trying to save that one. They're going to say Johnson's ball. Tough point. Spot the rebound from. Look at that, Mike. Dead in the corner. Dom Albiger comes back in. Now your Collins is going to get a rest. Awkward place to key it in from the corner. And he can't rock. We loop it in. Chandler got a piece of it. You see, that, that's tough over yeah. there. Good hustle by Chandler that time, too. Okay. Collins is out long enough to, I don't know, maybe get a drink. He's right back in. Yeah. He's going to replace his brother. I think he might have just got some instructions from the coach, and that's what that was about. Yep. Highlands by 20. Midway second quarter. Raheem Braswell, the freshman. Now Dixon. Tissinger right side. Alberter for three. It's good. Come Alberter. They've hit a couple from downtown here in the second quarter, and it's 33-60. And Regard's down there just begging for the ball right now. And Mike, I'll be honest with you, defensive effort much stronger than the last two games. Even though they made that, it was challenged. Right. Tim is getting double team, get yeah. whacked. Come on, guys. There you go. They're going to call eventually. And yeah. they do. <laughs> Chandler's reaction was about time. It's going to be a one and one Chandler's reaction was priceless. So he will shoot it. 336 left first half. 55% from the line for Chandler. And the cry continues to stream in, Mike. This is crazy in here. This is what I saw in some of the highlights I saw from earlier in the year. First by Timmons is good. He's got five. They have a very good Twitter page. Um, and Kerry Fowler, AD, is tremendous. Taking care of us. 
I used to have a school across the street from him, right? Cambria Rile. He remembers it. Business <laughs> college. Second one by Tim is pure. I told you when we came into town, Mike, if you look up, you'd see the river. And sure enough, we did, huh? Lots of river, isn't it? I was, yeah, we're at the bend in it back here. I was happy to see the war, Cambria County War Memorial where many great wrestling events and plenty of good hockey. It's got the Kraft Hockeyville stuff up there from when Penn's played out here in an exhibition game a few years ago. They completely redid it. Yeah, let's see their shot. Collins, three ball, in and out. He can't get one to go. Rebound, Jimmy Coons. I saw him bang a ton of those in the tape I watched, Mike. So tape can be deceiving. We learned that in Lincoln Park game. Oh, oh, Foster got to put right back at him, and Tavares, however, is there to control yeah. it. He's smart enough to pull that one down, Mike. Uh -oh. Oh. Good job by Regard. Going to cut all the way home. Oh, they oh, they're going to call oh, it my goodness. Did he throw his body in yet? Was someone there to get the foul? No, the guy slid in way late. Mike. Yeah, I thought so. We're closer to the other end of the floor, but. Grant Pep Rich across the way, not happy with that one. I don't disagree with no, that. No, he is, looks pretty irritated over there. 302 left first half. Islands 35, Johnstown 16. Jameer Collins. Out of Stallworth. Kicked it back out, and Dixon. Puts it on a platter for Jameer Collins. Tries to get around Tavares. Goes up with the left hand. Won't go. Boy, skying through the air was Stallworth. Couldn't get there, but they finally put it back in. Dixon, his second basket, fourth point, and it's 35-18. That time, Mike, they just threw it up and attacked the glass. Very important part of this game now. Right. Block. But Kunst has it. Put it up no good. Rebound tip. Now Johnstown hasn't had a chance to do this. They want to do, Mike. They want to run. Collins all the way home. Got to stop that, Mike. Good time out, Highlands. 2-12 to go. I think Corey sensed the same thing we did. Yep. You, you, you got to watch these last couple of minutes of the first half and the first couple of the second half. And he gets the timeout with 2-12 left, and the Rams leading it 35-20. to 20. Let's take a look at the 4A PA brackets where our local teams are. Again, we talked about home court advantage. Lincoln Park, the 7-1 team, is hosting South Allegheny 7-7. North Catholic is playing at Gateway. They're hosting Hickory. Mentioned them earlier. Laurel Highlands, Mike, they're 7-3. They're going to Clearfield tonight. We mentioned they got the long trip. Speaking of long trips, 7-5 Hampton. They are going to... Excuse me, Uniontown is going to Redding, Mike, to play Berks. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Can you believe that? Yeah, Redding. Redding's in the West. Yes. <laughs> Hampton, by the way, they got to go to Grove City. That's not too bad of a trip. But, again, these hometown first-round games, I'll get to the other ones. We have guys going across the state to play. Yeah, I think they're going to have to do something about that. Gateway has to go to Hershey, Mike. Gunst. Regard. Baseline to Varis. Kicked it back out to Foster. Less than two to go first half. Rams could use a basket here. Yeah, and just run their offense a little too, Mike. Hey, Foster needs to touch it down low. Orlando, how about that? Right to the basket, left hand up and good. And Mike, what that proves is we can run our offense. You don't want to get into a running contest with this team. 37-20, Highlands by 17, a minute 40 to go first half. Oh, he walked Dixon. again. <laughs> they just loved him. We pick up that pivot foot. Now your Collins going to let it go. Three ball. He got one. His first one of the night. His seventh point, 37-23. Here comes a trap. No call. Let's start. Lost it. No call. And Kissinger puts it in. 37-25. What well, once was a 20-point lead is now 12. A 21-point lead is now 12. And Tavares... Dribbled it off his leg. Hyden's ball, I'm like, yeah. They double, every time they double, the guy that's open has to come to the basketball. It's just that simple. That's Ooh. a bad place to catch it right there. Watch Ooh. the double come here. Tavares to the basket now. He's going to stop and pop. Glass, good. I like and that. a foul. What's the call? They're going to call foul after the fact, Mike. This will be interesting. Now, who are they going to get? They're going to get Dixon? They're talking about yeah. it. I'm sorry, that's Tissinger over there. 
We're going to shoot one Rams on one. are going to shoot the one on one. The basket's yeah. good. Kistlinger picks up his third, Mike. The basket is good. So after the play, Jordan had made the basket and had turned around to come back to play defense and then got knocked down. So Tavares will be at the line, a chance for a, a very strange four-point play. This is big, Mike. Got to make our foul shots here. Jordan missed his first trip. Gets there that one, he'll get another. Especially one-on-ones, Mike. It's key to make that first one. And that pushes the lead back out to 15. I don't think Johnson's going to go away, though, Mike. With this big crowd here, they're going to want to play. Second is up around, no good. Rebound pulled down by Stallworth. Out ahead, and now we're going to reach in foul as Jameer Collins is fouled by Tavares at 52 seconds. That's only the fourth foul against Highlands, though, so no shooting yet. Trojans have committed seven. Rams are in the one on one. It should be more than seven. We shot the one on one twice already. I'm not, I'm not wrong about that. Nope. So that's not a right number. Number five is back in, Raheem Braswell. Here's Jameer Collins. Braswell now over to Nair. Back to Braswell, 34 seconds. Arrow belongs to Johnstown. Jameer wow. Collins is swatted by Foster. Get that out of here. First off, he's walking. Secondly, the ball got knocked off of him. You could hear that all the way up yeah. here. Both, both. Watch him go right to the corner. Both swats. Yep. Ah, there's your man right there's there. There's Collins out top, but the Rams quickly got out there. 23 seconds. Highlands 40, Johnstown 25. First round PIAA playoff. They might play for the last one, Mike. Winner plays the Lincoln Park South Allegheny winner. That game is in Midland tonight. Ooh. He wants to pull the trigger. He yeah, does. It's falling away. Oh, wide left. Tissinger got the rebound. Missed that too. Foster has it. Rams are going to run out of time, but they're going to take a 15-point lead into the locker room. We are at halftime at Doc Stofko with the score. Highlands 40, Johnstown 25. We'll be back with stats and more right after this. Back at Johnstown High School at the Doc Stofko gym. The Rams leading at 40 to 25. Um, scoring, Dean? First half scoring for the Golden Rams. Jimmy Quince leads with 11. Cam Rieger, three three-pointers for nine. Chandler Timmons has six. Braden Foster has six. Jordan Tavares, five. Landon Signorello, three. Nice balance scoring for the Golden Rams. 23 in the first quarter, 17 in the second for Johnstown. They're led by their leading scorer, Nair Collins, with seven. Jameer Collins, brother, had three. Dante Tissinger has five, but he had three fouls. Deion Dixon with four. Off the bench, Dom Alberta has three. And Amir Robinson also has three. They hit uh, two three-pointers to give him a little boost in the second half. They actually outscored high in 19-17 in that second half. They give us a 40-25 halftime score. The Golden Rams in front. Rams were seven for 12 from the foul line in the first half, and Johnstown was two for four on their trips to the stripe. Mike, in a small world category, all three assistants of Johnstown are named Marcus, <laughs> one of which is Marcus Martin. Our sport uh, book guy, Steve Meaner, his son Chad, and Marcus Martin were roommates at St. Vincent. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It is a small world. I just sounded like John Sterling there. I'm sorry. <laughs> 40 to 25, the Rams lead it. We'll start the second half. We've got to put 16 good minutes together here, and we can have a game Tuesday. Survive in advance. That's what it is now in the PIA State Playoffs. And to turn up the defense. They played well in the first half defensively. That was slipping. Tissinger three ball off their iron. Braswell chased it down, but couldn't stole a pass. Only the second turner for Johnstown, Mike. That's impressive. They look like a pretty good basketball team. They have just been cold shooting. And that could be a test of the Highlands defense. Regards three balls in and out. Rebound, Kunst flash through. It's great job by That's Jimmy. Foul. Jimmy Kunst fired up. And he lets out a yelp, Mike. 13 points for the 6'3 senior. He knew how important that shot was, Mike, and he made it. Recruit of Eastern Michigan. He's telling us what his living arrangements are going to be in the fall. Really close to the field. <laughs> yeah, we should go up and see a game. I'd love to. I've never been to Ypsilanti. That's another one. I'd never been to Johnstown before today. There you go. I can say that now. I was here too many times. I <laughs> ran the squads to come up and do observations. 
First one is missed. Rebound to the uh, Trojans. Now, if this continues like it is, I will have a very pleasant memory of my trip to Johnson. Braswell right side. Couldn't stop him. Out top to Nair Collins. Over the backcourt. Back. Yep. He needs to get it. There it is. Yeah. Over and back. He did the smart thing there. He just waited. Knew he, knew he had to touch it because you don't want to let Chandler touch that. So Unlike Jeff Carter, who touched a high stick pass last night, which was just moronic for a guy that old. Yes, anyway. the experience. The ref's yelling, high stick, high stick. You let it go. Third turnover for Johnson. Two quick ones to start the second half. Like, again, Clyde waiting to explode. Nice spin move, Tavares in the paint. He puts it down. But Jordan Tavares also had a good playoffs. He's averaging more in the postseason than he did in the regular year. I just won't let him, Mike. Oh, boy, and Collins ran into a brick wall, number 23, and he's fouled. Collins will shoot a couple at 6.53. That's not year. I'm just taking that 15 point lead, taking that to 19 here. Nair makes the first. He has a team high eight. Now you're talking to some of the vestibule reports, some of the Johnstown folks. We had a very good report on Highlands that uh, were always up there, they said. So, that has been a great run. Collins now with nine. 44-27, 17-point lead. Only Ram from downtown has been this man. Can he do it four times? Oh, it's off the rim. Rebound, Timmons. Timmons back up with the left hand and scores. Chandler Timmons now with eight. He's doubled his average, Mike, and he's been big on the boards, too. 46-27, Highlands by 19 again. Jameer Collins out top. He's the junior of the group. Out to Nair, he's the senior. Drives to the paint, blocked double, by Fox. Double block. And Tavares. There you go. Mike, you mentioned some of the trips people have to make. Union time, we mentioned, has to go to Reading. Gateway has to go to Hershey. Mars has to go to Lancaster. That's ridiculous. Amish country. Yep. Collins, I hope they got, I hope they got some fine woodworking for their trouble. Maybe a shed. Beautiful pass inside off the move to Dixon. He has his third basket, six point, and it's 46-29. Good play by Dixon there on the entry pass from Kunst. Now they over to Braswell in the corners. Three is down. His first basket, Mike. Cuts the lead back down to 14. Hyde has committed their third turnover on that last trip. Oh, Kunst left a man in the Dust, put he it up, threw it up there. Rebound, Foster had it, lost it. Battle for it on and the wall, and they had to walk, yep. I think they could have called two of them. Yes. That was good hustle by Johnstown, but they just moved the pivot foot to Deion Dixon and turns it over at 5.33 third quarter. And what I didn't like that time, Mike, nobody wanted to get on the floor. Johnstown guys are down there. We're going to get some Golden Rams down there, too. Timmons. Oh, the regard out of the corner, three ball, hit the side of the board. Saved by Timmons Whoa. beautifully. Into Foster for the right no out of the No foul, unbelievable. By Dixon. Unbelievable, terrible. Tissinger now, spin move in the paint. Tissinger shoots and scores, and draws the foul. That's a five point play, Mike. The two we had down here, Chandler Timmons is limping, Mike. Yep, he's coming over to Get attended to by our trader Anch. Hopefully he's taking a shoe off. Yeah, Mike and Jordan Tavares picked up his third foul, so that was this is terrible, not terrible good, possession. Not a good sequence. Tasinger at the line, chance for the three-point play, hits it. And it's 46-35. They cut it to 11. They got him just playing Jimmy in his shirt, Mike. Tavares all the way through. And he's fouled. A little reach in by Jameer yeah. Collins. That time he got bailed up, Mike. That's the second foul on Johnstown second half. We got to do, Mike, is run some back doors for Jimmy. With that guy right in his shirt, as you'll see, he's not looking at the ball at all. Chandler getting that ankle taped. So he's out of there right now. Signorella in. Free guard. And Trogel, Mike, had to make the trip up by herself after doing spring sports. So thank God she's here. 
Foster out top. Foster with a spin move and he lays it in. In the dust, Mike. He put him in a spin cycle. He's got eight. He's got eight, you know what that means. He's got about 10 more to get. 48-35. Well, stole it. Find the ladder, drives, lays, fouled. Put shoots two at 434. That goes on Braswell, that's his third. What a play by Jimmy Kunz to steal that ball. Forces a turnover and converts it into, he climbed to the rafters for that one. Two shot ball. Coming down the stretch now, the Rams got to make their foul shots. We all know what a problem that's been, especially on the road this year. First one is down. Jimmy is four for six in the line tonight. And he's got 14. They have a one extra three up there. I think they, I'm not sure. They took one off camp up. Maybe, well, they got him with nine, yeah. that's right, so. I'm not gonna look up there because it's gonna confuse me. Second one short. Foster tried to fight it out of there, but Jameer Collins took it. 14 they point want transition. Uh, here, score. 49-37, a 12-point game. Signorella out to Foster. Foster's gonna go in, one-handed, up around, no good, tip is good. Foster now with double figures in 10. Four here in the third quarter, 51-37. These guys are not gonna go away without a fight. Nope. Especially on their home floor in front of this big Friday night crowd. Halfway through the third quarter, Hines ahead by 14. Lefty by, Tissinger's no good. Rebound Highlands. Camp said let's slow it down and run something. I think it's a good idea, Mike. Got to get it over though. There you go. There Regard does. Got it to Foster right side. Foster jumper in and out. Rebound tipped. There's a foul. I believe it's going to be on Signorella. He was fighting with one of the oh, yeah. Trojans here. I couldn't tell which way that was going to go, but it's on Landon, his first. Third against Highland's second half. Chandler testing out that ankle there on the sidelines, Mike. I think he's ready to go back in. Ooh. Tissinger, looping feed, and Dixon takes it. Back to Tissinger all the way through. Kicked it back out. This is Jameer Collins. Dump down in the paint. Dixon shot his blocked. It. Tavares knocked it out of bounds, and it's Johnstown basketball. And here's Chandler Timmons back in. Good news for the Golden Rams. Maybe you can do what Filipowski did after he turned his ankle yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Great game for Duke, yes. Don't Don't cuts Jimmy again. again. And, and he, he got forced it. another one. Signorella to Kunst, lays it what up and scores. What Signorella. another great steal by Jimmy Kunst. He threaded the needle that time, Mike. Six turnovers. Collins, three out of the corner is missed. Dixon's able to save it. Second Collins will try it again. No good. Stepped out of bounds. And it's Johnstown ball. Three minutes left, third quarter. Highlands by 16. Should we say the term racehorse basketball, Mike? It's moving. Well, happy birthday to our athletic director, Drew Carpenter here. He is here. Celebrated a birthday this week. Got the family. Tissinger left-handed up and in. He's into double figures with 10. Five of them here in the third quarter. And the Rams lead at 53-39. Timmons. Hands it off to Kuntz. Off the move. Three-pointer is down! Jimmy Kuntz, 19. He is not to be denied here, Mike. He came to play tonight. 56-39, Highlands by 17. Jameer Collins for court against Signorella. Stopped him at the foul line. Tissinger taking his time getting up the floor, Mike. Collins, Tissinger, Alberta in the corner. Oh, Jimmy got a piece of that too. He Expect the gadget is here. This like time it's Timmons. They're overplaying a great job Timmons. on the ball. Foster Phillips! Right into the crowd. Timeout, they Johnstown. Timeout. Islands by 19. And that was right into the student section, Mike. What a great job of overplaying the basketball, Mike. That's coaching there. They saw something on tape, and they're taking advantage of it. My goodness. 
the quarter that Jimmy Kunst, well, not the quarter, the three quarters that Jimmy Kunst has put out tonight. You might want to reopen that recruiting and think about basketball. <laughs> By the way, Mike, our girls travel back out here tomorrow. They're going to play Penn Cambria at Mont Aloysius College at 3.30. Also locally, the Nock girls are going to be at Punxsutawney. Our St. Joe's girls get to play Williamsburg at Clayburg. I don't know where either one of those places are. That's how crazy the travel is. Colonial Williamsburg? I don't think so. Okay. By the way, our one local team got to play at home. We got to congratulate Deer Lakes Lancers. It's he is the year of the deer. They have won the WPIL championship. Three A champions, Mike. They host Seneca tonight. They're a 13 and 12 team. They're a third out of District 10. So they're going to be going crazy in Russell time. Congratulations to the Lancers. Boom boom, all cameraman. Happy as can be. He yeah, bet. The Slovak club was on fire, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. <laughs> All right, Trojans with a basketball here. Less than two to go, third quarter. Highlands 58, Johnstown 39. Collins, Tissinger. Now they brought Amir Robinson into the game. He had a big three earlier that got him going off the bench. Collins. Now they go down low for Stallworth. And here's Robinson, put it up, missed it. Rebound Robinson, got his own, tries again, missed the shot. Tipped, and it's controlled by Regard. Highlands with the ball in a 19-point lead. And, and might get no rush, run your offense. Regard out top. They've done a pretty good job of doing that tonight, too. Look at Crunch, that. Dumped down to Timmons, and Timmons off the glass scores. They run that play repeatedly, Mike. That's called a pin down play. Where you clear the backside. Oh, Tim and, uh, Jimmy Kuntz got the block on Collins, but he got him with the body, and Collins will shoot two at 101. Highlands has matched their biggest lead at 21. What you do, Mike, you clear the backside, you extend your arm, easy layup. If they find him, and they've been finding him tonight. Chandler, 10 points. First one by Nair Collins is good. He is our third Golden Ram in double figures. Here's the second by Collins. It is in and out and back in again. He's got 13, Mike. He's had an off night shooting, but he's a scorer. He's got something with a do. Four for four from the foul line. Less than a minute to go, third quarter. Islands by 19. They're right. Is there you go. Well, ball almost went How in. about two shots to boot? That almost, it, yeah. First of all, it yeah, has he, to be two shots because the ball almost went in the basket. There's no way you can't call it shooting. That, and they, they're not, Mike, but it, <laughs> The ball almost went in the basket. How is it be not a, a shot? Problem. I have a question. That's insane. I agree with you. Foster. Up around, no good. Rebound Collins fought Signorella for it. Tissinger all the way home. 60 to 43, 35 seconds left. Towns with the pole and the arrow. He's got a dozen. Kunst, cross court. He's a pitcher, that had mustard on it. You gotta make him pay for that. He got fouled. He's, he's continually getting fouled. Regard will go. go to the line. I rode him the whole way to the basket and Regard will shoot too. At 23 seconds, Highlands by 17. You know Nair's calling to score, Mike, when that's his first foul of the night. <laughs> they don't get too many. Cam will go to the line, trying to join the double figures. Team, there are three so far, he's trying to make it four. Short on the first, he'll get another. Twenty-three seconds left. There he goes. There's Regard. He's got ten. And the Rams lead at 61-43. Collins to Nair. Fourteen seconds. Nair's going to go right through, split him, and score. I was going to try to get the last shot, Mike. And Kutz all the way home. Put it he in. Did it. 21 for Joel. That almost went in. A three-quarter court eve took a peak. But the third quarter comes to an end to Johnstown with a score. Island 63 and the Trojans 45.
Racehorse basketball, Mike. 20 points for Johnstown, 23 for Hodges for that quarter. And Golden Rams again leading here. I got a trivia question for you. Let's have it. All right. PA tournament time, right? Yes. Jimmy Clint's put on a great performance here tonight. Who had the best performance scoring-wise in the PIA basketball tournament? Single game score. I'll tell you how many. He had 53. 53 points in a PIAA game. Yep, and that's on 14 to 16 from the foul line, 19 to 22 from the field. Is this somebody I might have heard of? He played at Syracuse. How about Billy Owens? How about Billy Owens? Do you know where he played in high school? Was he at Reading? High school, it was Carlisle. Carlisle. How about that? He was a player. His coach just retired, you know. Yeah. Highlands up 63-45 as we head to the fourth quarter. That was a forced retirement. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. He did Bay. not go quietly. Mr. Into the Bayheim night. did not go quietly into the night. My lasting memory would be watching put put 99 on him. You want that statue of him crying, right? <laughs> that. Ask me sometime if you come see on. Him. That's no, a no charge. Uh, they call it a walk. Yeah, what, Mike? I'll take that. I'll live with that. That's I'll take right. that one. That's, I thought it was something. a flop and it should have been play yeah. on, but what do I know? I got an official to my left. I could ask him. Uh, there you go. He's the, uh, the gentleman over here said he refed. Rodney Gallagher is a freshman at Greensburg Salem, and he basically won the game single-handedly. Now, now there's a good call there. He did ride him. So that's Braden Foster because his first. Okay, so that is five both ways. Johnstown will key it in. Rams by 18. That's pretty much been it. They've gotten it. Once once they got it to double figures, it's never gotten under. Oh, that's a walk there. How Absolutely. can that not be a walk? Absolutely. Corey Dodgen thinking the same thing and said as much. Collins for three off the move. In and out. Rebound. Somehow squirted it out of there. Came right to the Trojans. And now we have a foul. Offensive foul. That's a good call. Jimmy Quince went down, Mike. Tisslinger going to get his fourth, I believe. Yeah, Jimmy's... Uh, Checking his traction. <laughs> yeah, that's four on Tissinger, the sophomore. These guys will be back. They're still trying to figure out how they were 7 and 15 last year. Smart call by Jimmy to get in they position must have, to draw that. They must, have, they must have been tanking for a draft pick. Because <laughs> these guys don't go 7 and 15. Full court pressure now, Mike. Timmons bringing the ball up the floor again. Chandler against the double team. Oh, nice strong Chris, pass there. Chris pass. Now to Signorella. Signorelli got ridden into the baseline and got fouled. That's what happened. As Dixon used the hips to move Landon out of the way. That's Highlands wants a timeout. 7.05 to go. I think the Rams will go into the one and one with that one. They lead it. Yes, they will. 63 to 45. 7.05 left, fourth quarter. Again, the winner to play the winner of Lincoln Park and South Allegheny. It's hard to get scores in the state playoffs because nobody covers it. Yeah. And Mike, uh, if we win, we'll be back again. We'll play to the game. It'll air. We'll play it on Tuesday. It will air on Comcast Thursday at 8 p.m. Channel 190. And it will also be on YouTube. 24 Tuesday hours. Game. Yeah, 20, so, whenever it tips, 24 hours. And they've been tipping them at seven. So. Seven, so we'll, yeah. we'll be at, so we'd be at seven on Wednesday. So, so again, this game tonight airs on Comcast channel 190 Monday 8 p.m. And if we're lucky enough to get to another one, it'll air Thursday on Comcast and Wednesday on YouTube. Our coaches are asking the referees, "Where are we inbounded?" The referees go one and one, and our and one of our assistants goes, "No, where do we inbound?" <laughs> and he goes one and one. He goes under the basket. He goes one and one. <laughs> Tells you all you need to know right there. Richie Makura, good move on his part. He was trying. <laughs> Gonna send Lana Signorell to the line. <laughs> Rest corner. <laughs> so Lando will shoot the one and one. Seven oh five, left of the regulation here. Landed one out of two tonight. 
First one is strong, and a good job of blocking out there. Dixon did a good job on Foster. They get it to Nair Collins for three out of the corner, it's down. He has 18, we have a whistle, and an injury, Mike. Uh, Keon Dixon limping off Oh, the he's floor. coming off, yep. jeez. A lot of ankles here tonight. Then head referee Doug Steve telling Corey Dodge and I he was in distress. I had to get I had to blow the whistle and get him off. <laughs> Against the pressure, 15 point game. Timmons found Regard in the corner. Back to Coons. That'll keep away, Mike. Ah. Regard three ball. Hey. Hey. But nylon. Kept it away from them and put it in the net. He's got 13, Mike. And four from downtown Johnstown, and it's 66 48. Downtown is long, isn't it? It is. Whoa. A lot of river, a lot of bridges. Uh, how about all the way there? Yep, it is. It. Charging foul against Tissinger, and he's done. He is. That's his fifth, Mike. Dante Tissinger coming averaging 20 a game, Mike. He's going to leave the game with 12. You know, walk the plank at 625. They get 30 Good seconds. Nice. That's not big, gonna, Mike. Not going to need a Ryan Durham is going to go with Amir Robinson. That's a big call. Islands by 18 at 625 remaining. His last two were offensive fouls too, Mike. Against pressure. We've done a good job with this pressure though, mate. Yeah. I mean, four turnovers. Ball cross court. Regard another one. Yes. It's down! Cam Regard on fire! Two big ones here in the fourth quarter. If they overplay, they must pay. And Cam made him pay that time. He should be a lawyer. <laughs> there's a ball. And there's never a fee unless we get money for you. <laughs> oh, we saw an Edgar Snyder billboard when we got into town here. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. By the way, Mike, you know, the team tonight has been so aggressive. And Johnstown, I've seen him just run teams out of the gym with their press. I just have met that, like I said, only four turnovers. Collins walked right into a three and missed it. Rebound, Kunz tipped it. Oh, they're going to say he's on a baseline. Oh, Timmons had it, controlled it, but he was standing on the baseline. Johnstown basketball. Only the fifth turnover, Mike, and like I said, Johnstown, I'll bet you they're forcing 20 turnovers a game. I saw them just take teams right out with their pressure. Now we have a foul before they inbound it. Mm, that's going to be, be Jordan. 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 Um, he's going to sit, Landon Signorella back in. A pressure, by the way, is a pressure press, just in case you need another. Okay. <laughs> New term I made up. Pressure. Having trouble getting it in. Now they do get it into Stallworth. Stallworth out top, puts it on the floor against Regard. Spin move into the paint, puts it in with the left hand. For Farrell Stallworth with his first basket. Timeout, Johnstown at 5.42 remaining. Highlands lead at 19, the Rams 69, the Trojans 50. Eight on the score sheet for Johnstown tonight. Highlands have had six. Mike Johnstown, they got to the PA title in 2005. They lost to Stilton High Spire. And uh, I got a guy from Stilton High Spire. Not that year. Rod Brooken. He was tough too. Is that a kid up here? Do you remember a guy named Pat Cummings? Yeah, wasn't he a pit guy? No, he's not a pit guy. He played uh, at University of Cincinnati, graduated Johnson High School, 12 years in the NBA. How about that? Yeah. Drafted by Milwaukee. Now, was he a uh, Bob Huggins guy? Uh, that's a good before question. Before that. Yeah, maybe a little before. Uh, who was there before that? He was there forever, before Bob Huggins. Not sure. Cal, Cal, he had a funny name. Callie. Oh, oh now no. they're going to call. Gail Catlett. No, he was a West Virginia. That's what, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Duh. Huggy's a West Virginia now. Yeah. But anyways, this guy played 12 years in the NBA. Had a nice career with uh, the New York Knicks. Spent about seven years with them. That's impressive. Here are the Collins. Three ball it settles. Nair Collins is hit three now from downtown, and you look up, he's got 21. And that's his average, Mike. Foster. 
Now Regard again, look out! Boom! 19 for Cam. Man on fire. And three three balls in the fourth quarter, 72-53. Robinson from the corner, it's down. Nobody guarded him, he was wide open. He reminds me of my son when he shoots flat footed. The first one's for free, this guy got two free ones. We gotta get in his face. And now foul. Nope, they called timeout before anything. Yep. Timeout by the Rams at 4.51 to go. 72.56, the Rams by 16. Pat Cummings, just to finish the story, Mike. He got the uh, end of his career with Miami Heat. They were in the first year of expansion. His claim to fame is he scored 15 points to break the 0 and 17 start for the Miami Heat. Oh my Heat. goodness! Idea like that. Now that's going deep in a trivia, but yeah, that is. <laughs> By the way, we get another few minutes under her belt. Uh, Courtney Wozlowski has a birthday today, too. She's out there. Oh, how about that? She's not warm up the bus because we're in a luxury liner tonight, but uh, Courtney always has the bus ready after a victory. Gail Catlett did coach Cincinnati. Well, how about From that? From 1972 to See, 78. I knew that. The right. coach before Bug Bob Huggins was Tony Yates. He was there for six years between 1983 and 1989. Okay, so I'll go with Gil Cap. Gil Cap. I'll have that on the next broadcast. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a big fan of his being a pit guy. How about that? I did not know that. Current coach at Cincinnati is Wes Miller. Thank you. Gil Cap was a big guy, remember? Thank Yeah, he was. Go, Ram. Thank you, Google. Nice. Oh, off the inbound, Jimmy. Just like they drew it up in the huddle, Mike. Simmons fired it in there. He's got 23. His first basket of the fourth quarter. 74, 56. Oh, Foster with get, the block and we have a foul. I think they're gonna get, now they're gonna get Foster. I thought Cam might have hit him low. Oh, they did get Cam. I thought he said 50. It looked like it too. When he signaled it. Yeah. Two shots now for Jameer Collins. 74-56. First is good. So if this holds up, we will keep an eye on those PIAA brackets and see where they put us Tuesday night against either Lincoln Park or South Allegheny. Luckily, they're both Whitfield teams, meaning we'll at least be in the District 7 confines for that game. I'm going to be positive. Say South Allegheny at Gateway. Okay. Second one missed, it's tipped. It comes to Stallworth. Stallworth left-handed, missed the shot. He got another chance and scored. Stallworth hung with that one, Mike. I'm going with Moon if it's Lincoln Park. There, there's our two choices. Timeout Highlands. Yep. Good job by the Rams there. As Tavares got in trouble on the sideline. 4.22 to go. This is kind of slow to a crawl here. 74-59. Yep. It's still in range, 15 points. And, Mike, you said you were having a discussion with a gentleman down here from Johnson. He was asking about Lincoln Park and the private school issue. Uh, I just want to let everybody know, there is legislation about trying to get the 1972 statute to put the private schools and public schools together repealed. Everybody says the PI has to do something about it. No, they don't. This is on the state legislature. And again, if you don't like what's happening, and I don't, by the way, I think I want to be in a league where I draw my roster up the same way you draw your roster up. And we're at the point now, Mike, there's a little research. Charters and privates make up half the PIAA. If you think it's bad over here, where do you get to Philadelphia? Math, Science, and Civics has nine kids in school, and they all play basketball. So let them do it their way. We do it our way. See if that legislation gets passed. Tavares out of the corner. And he's wrapped up and fouled by Dom Alberta. Because if you pull everybody in here, nobody wants to play Lincoln Park. For that exact reason. Right. So Tavares now will go to the line. I think this is going to be a foul shooting contest the rest of the game. I think they're just going to foul. We're going to be here a long time. Yeah, it looked uh, pretty obvious that time. And well, yeah, I'm surprised you don't see more. I'm surprised more teams haven't done this to yeah. us. And that's one way to combat. Jordan will get another. 
75-59, Highlands by 16. And if you don't like this, I have a solution for that next. I'm solving all the problems tonight, Mike. A good, good right. move. Yeah, right, everybody turn. You are a problem solver. Tavares makes two out of two. Yeah, it's what I did. He's got nine. Mike, if he scores, we'd have all five starters in double figures. How about that? One more point. He has nine. He set a career high. Yeah, against, uh, was it Lincoln Park? Yeah, it's 16, I believe, in that game. Braswell put up a wild one. He missed it. Rebound, Signorella. And they. There you go. Even though we didn't go to that game, we kept all the stats. Right. All right, here's my solution, Mike. It's four minutes to go, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of this endless trips to the foul line, right now, you had eight points to the Highland score. 76 and eight is what? 84. The game ends when the first team gets to 84. So we'll have continuous basketball, none of this foul line, baloney, and you'll get to see basketball the whole time. Do you know 99% of all basketball games are ended that way? Because 99% of the games are played in the playground when you play the 10. <laughs> we don't have a time clock in the playground, do we? No, we do not. First one to 10 wins. Well, we do not. My thing is first one to 84 wins. And you want to follow me? I'll get to 84 before you. Maybe. Simmons will get another. Well, it's funny. A couple of Johnstown fans sitting behind me. The minute that happened over there, they said, oh, no, don't do this. <laughs> there you go. So. So there's another group that wants to see everybody play basketball. Where's everyone going? The game's not over. Well, John's not pretty hopping on a Friday night, Mike, so you want to get out of here, I guess. Timmons hits a second. He's got 11. We, we saw him lined up outside the War Memorial for the... There's a concert going on. Big concert there, so maybe some people want to get that. Collins for three, no good. Stallworth followed everybody in and was able to get it. I don't know why Stallworth doesn't play more. That kid's a leaper. He can get up there. Yeah, does not start. Amir Robinson is deadly. And I'm not criticizing him being flat-footed, Mike. He just shoots with his feet on the ground. Okay. We call that a stand-up shooter. Mike, guess what? They're going to follow They're again. just going to do this. Yep. So we know what's happening. Well, the good news is we're in a double bonus now at 3.30 left, 77-62, and Chandler will go to the line. Remember, the first one, 84 wins, Mike, right there, down. First one by Timmons is good. I would like to personally thank Coach Ryan Durham for scheduling foul shooting practice for us tonight. There you go. Timmons will get another. Rams by 16. And Mike, you want to stop from doing that? Make your five shot. And we all. And Mike, second half to have you shooting into the student section. Made five in a yep. Made five in a row, by the way. Hyde has done a great job of shooting into that section. Oh, Carl, Carlos had a block by Foster and thrown away by Johnstown. 318 left Highlands by 17. Eighth Highlands turnover. Dot going offense, defense with Tavares and Signorella now. Hey, Mike, real important. Give us a stat about the four years, please. Oh, yeah. Um, the Rams, this group now that are seniors, the last four years, have won 76 games while they're doing this nonsense. We'll tell you this. Um, very important. Listen. They have won 76 games. They're 76 and 23. That is tied for the most wins in any four-year span in school history. All right? The previous team that did that was the first four years of the school, which finished in 1972, coached by Chuck Gugano, players, seniors such as Tay Wattenbaugh, John Mason, Dan Bonislawski, John Slomkowski, Jeff Parati, Mike Robleski. All those guys were on that team. They were 72 and 18. They won three section titles. This team has won two section titles and a WPIL. With this win tonight, they will become the winningest four-year senior class in school history, and I would say the most decorated. Yeah, Mike, if you put any four, get in there. Oh, almost double figures for Jordan. And think about that. Put any four years together, no one's won more games than these guys you see on the floor right now. It's amazing. 79-62. So it is amazing. And you look at the, this senior class. 
This will be their what, 76 if they win this? This will be 77, which will be one more. Yeah, there that's something to write home about. And you had a COVID year thrown in there where we didn't play a full schedule. Yeah, we didn't play. It didn't start till January. Games. Yeah, it right. didn't start till the middle of January that year. There's and a foul backcourt, and now walking to the other end will be Timmons, 79-62. Not going anywhere for a while. 2.49 left. Islands by 17 points. So it's turned into a foul shooting. Chandler's made three in a row. Make it four. Chandler says enough of this. 14 for him. 80 to 62. Two forty nine remaining. Plenty of the faithful heading to the exits for the final time this year. Chandler missed the second. Rebound to Alberta. Out of the corner, Collins for three. Off the front iron, a grazer. And here comes Jimmy Coons. And they foul. foul him. Two thirty eight left. Islands by eighteen. Jeff Chandler from fourteen. Yes. Good. Starting to get hectic here trying to keep track of all these fouls. I know. Jimmy Kunst with 23 tonight. And he'll get another. Eighty to sixty-two. The Rams are led by as many as twenty-one on two different occasions. That took a left turn off the iron. And here comes Jameer Collins. Two and a half remaining. Nair, three ball off the rim, rebound Signorella. Over to Regard. Regard yeah. once filed. Yeah, was like, grab me. Please file me. Well, they stole oh. it off him anyway. Knocked him down, no call. Driving is Collins. Had it blocked. It's out of bounds to Johnstown at 212. <laughs> Well, there won't be any traffic. Yep. Robinson. Alberta for three, straight down the middle. Oh, it settles. Looked oh, like a no. Bishop Canavan ribs you were talking about. 80-65, 15 point lead. Kunz four court. Now to Foster. Foster goes in, and it's swatted away. No foul. Gee, when you want one, you don't get one. Oh, well, that's your the offensive there. It yeah. is. No bother about that by Jameer, Jameer Collins. Collins went in. Lowered the shoulder, put the elbow down, and gave the old shiv. Yeah. That's a player control foul, no shooting. Highlands will inbound. So oh, long bar. Who's our old long bar guy, Mike? Oh, Billy Cooner. Billy <laughs> Cooner. Give me a long bar. Dribble with one hand. Use the and old, back in the day, you got away with it. The old garden gate with the other. Yep. Graham's got to get it across, and Jimmy does. Jimmy all the way through. Lays it. They're not blowing. A, they're not blowing the whistle now. They're, yeah. they're basically like, stop it. <laughs> Signorell going to get that foul. So they call it on Highlands, and we'll march to the other end and shoot the one and one. At 134 to go, Highlands leading at 80 to 65. Yeah, but how about some of those names on that 72 team? Tay Walton, just start with that. Tay always checks in and wants the scores. John Mason, Dan Bonislawski, of course. Unfortunately, we lost him a few years ago. John Slipkowski, Jeff Parati, Mike uh, Ropaleski. Thanks to cameraman Dan for the help on that one. And you know, Mike, Jeff oh, Parati, I saw him play in the playground. That guy was a killer. And Chuck Guggenau was a tremendous coach to speak of. We lost him earlier this year. Got to 100. I'll sign up for that. 80 to 67. They've cut it to 13. This is as close as they've been. 1.30 to go. You know, this reminds me of the Canada game, Mike. Never been in doubt. No. Although Collins had a big night, never hurt us. They fouled Tavares this They're going to send Jordan to the foul. Now, Jordan, you got nine points. You've had nine points. Yeah, he, he missed the, the yeah. two the last time, so. Make one of these so we can have five guys in double figure. And that's all for Amir Robinson. He fouls out. He gave some good minutes off the bench, however. 
Yeah, he had nine, Mike. He had three three-pointers. Come on, Jordan. First one is good. There you go. I can say it now. All five starters in double figures. Pretty well-rounded team effort here tonight on the road, and it's definitely a hostile atmosphere. Probably the most hostile atmosphere we played in. Really? They were noisy. One out of two. Highlands by 14. Alberta gets it back. Now Jameer Collins. Alberta for three. It's off the rim. Rebound Kuntz. And they clear off. 109 to go. Highlands by 14. Courtney, happy birthday. Start the bus. It's going to be a nice ride home, Mike. They're going to let you us You may not have 500,000 driving hours or 500,000 miles, but we want Courtney to start the bus. And your name's not Roadmaster. <laughs> Jimmy's just dribbling it out at 45 seconds. They're not putting the count on because they're not challenging. Highlands 81, Johnstown 67. And in this tremendous streak that the Rams have had over the last six years, this will be their seventh playoff win, six times in the last eight years, seventh state playoff win. And Jimmy's down there competing with Steve Meaner. 15 seconds. As the Rams gonna dribble this out, this one, ladies and gentlemen, belongs to the Rams. And as much as they follow us, Mike, they have no interest now in playing. Hey, go figure. That's funny. Remember, at eight points, 84 to win. Highlands only has 81. That's it. Your final score here tonight. Highlands 81, Johnstown 67. Quickly, Dean, we got to run. Yeah, Mike, Lincoln Park, can't wait to get there. And uh, we'll play Lincoln Park, South Allegheny winner. Remember, South Allegheny at Gateway Tuesday. I'll see you there. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Thanks to everybody that helped us out here, including AD Carey File. Once again, that final score. Highlands 81, Johnstown 67. For cameraman Dan and the Dean Mike Choba, this is Mike Pavlik saying so long, everybody. Let's get on the bus.